Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Guitar Studio and today I'm gonna share with you a free sample from our cinematic title classic pack, so let's check it out. Alright, so you can download this sample by clicking the link in the description below. You can zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder you have a couple of things, you have the license, the installation instruction, the GRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install the font so the title can work properly. Just double click on it to install it. And then you can just double click on the DRFX file and it will just prompt open that window. Just click install and now the title is installed on your computer. Now in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page, you can go over to effect title and here you can search for sample and it will bring all the sample that you may already have from us plus the cinematic classic sample that you just installed. You can then just take it and drag it here in the timeline. You can extend it as long as you want. The title works with any resolution and any frame rate. You can easily uh, extend and reduce the title. It will retain the animation in and the animation out. Quick disclaimer, the title might be a bit heavier than other for title to run because there is not only the animation in and out, but we also added a continuous zoom to it. So it might take a tiny bit longer to process. So to render the cache, go over to playback, go down to render cache, instead of none, use smart. And here you can just right click on your title and render cache fusion output. You can just select on. And it's just gonna cache the title for you. As you can see now, this bar above is blue instead of red. And that means that we can play it with uh, real time playback. Now let's move over to inspector. By default, there is the animation in, but there is not the animation out. You can select the animation out here by choosing from a couple of options uh, in that drop down menu. Be sure to select something that is in accordance with your movement. For example, here, because we have that constant zoom out, it will be weird uh, if we have a zoom uh, in instead. It will just be in opposition to it. So we're just going to select zoom out for the animation out to get something that makes sense with the current movement. So right now, because the movement is zooming out, the zoom out animation will work better. If I were to use replicate animation in instead, it will not work properly because as you can see here, we're gonna just zoom out and then we're gonna zoom in again. So that will not make sense for that specific one. That's just something for you to take into account. We give you a lot of options, so then those creative choices are yours. Now let's just go through all the functionality available in this title. First one is animation lens. So basically you can adjust the animation lens uh, for the animation in and out of this title. So here it's three seconds. You can choose from 0 0.5 to five seconds, which is the maximum. Uh, right now, for example, I would like to reduce it to one second. And as you can see, the animation is gonna be way quicker. So one second instead of three seconds. For the animation in, you can select from eight different options non original zoom out zoom in drop down rise up left and right it's the same thing here for the animation out and for this pack we've added a new functionality here which is constant zoom so as you can see now there is a constant movement to the title by basically zooming in or out if you don't want that movement you can just untick that box if you untick that box the title will just be a normal one with animation in and out but no constant movement you can adjust the scale of that zoom right here with the zoom scale. If you select a number in the minus, it's gonna zoom out. And if you're in a positive number, it's gonna zoom in. Right now, I'm just gonna reset the value by default by double clicking on it. As you can see, you can just double click on any value to reset that to the original parameter. Now for the customization and look, you have access here to size and position, which is self-explanatory. You can adjust the overall size and position of that title, as well as the angle. Then you have text one. So here you can change the first text. You can swap the font, the color, size, tracking, line spacing, and center. Text two is the exact same thing. And then here shadow, I'm gonna bring a piece of footage to show you what it does. You can just tick that box to enable it. Here you can adjust the shadow strength. Right now the shadow is very diffuse. You could make it a solid by reducing the blur right there, or you can just increase it to make it even more diffuse. Right now, just so you see, I'm gonna make it solid. And then as you can see, you can uh, adjust the drop angle. So that will adjust the angle of the shadow. You can adjust the drop distance, which is basically the distance between the title and the shadow, the color, and as I just mentioned, the blur. Right now, let's just turn it off. And the next one here is the glow control. So we can increase the threshold a little bit. 
the gain will be the strength of your glow. So the more gain you have, uh, the more glow you're going to have. And then the glow size is going to be the diffusion of that glow. So if you're high in glow size, as you can see, the glow is very diffuse. And if we reduce that glow size, then uh, the glow is very localized on the text. To give an anamorphic look to the glow, you can also untick lock X and Y and then the glow size, you can just increase it to the maximum and it will give your glow a horizontal spread. You can also reduce the overall strength of the effect by reducing the blend here, which will be basically the opacity. Right now, let's just double click on everything to reset that to the original value. The next one here is perspective. So you can adjust the perspective of your title with the X, the Y and the Z axis. The perspective is usually nice to be used uh, in combination with the shadow because it really helps to give a three dimension to the title. For now, let's just reset everything. And the last one right here, background, is if you want to separate your title a bit more from the footage behind, you can just here bring that background in by raising the opacity. It will just bring a layer between your footage and your title to make the title pop a little more. This background got a fade in animation in and out uh, to make it smooth for it to enter in your frame. And here uh, you can adjust a bunch of other stuff. Here there is a lot of stuff that you can do with it. Uh, we could change the width and the height, for example, then create invert, adjust the corner radius, increase the opacity a little bit more, and that will create a frame within your frame, which is, I think, pretty interesting. We could create some vignetting here by adjusting the soft edge, for example, and you could change the color as well for this. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Again, you can download this title by clicking the link in the description below. If you're interested to use more of the cinematic title, we have a full pack available on our website that you can check it out. Uh, it contains 30 classic cinematic title that you can use for your project. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.